Hey guys, Javan here, and I'm bringing you patch notes for November the 14th. This is PC game update patch notes, which you can find on the battle log forums. I will put a link in the description, so let me take you through them. Crashes and freezes. So, they fixed the crash that would occur randomly during gameplay. They've also fixed the crash that would occur when an object is destroyed. Every time that a player exited a vehicle, there was a small chance that the server would crash. This has been fixed. Fixed an occasional crash during single player gameplay. Fixed a crash that would occur when during level loading. Sometimes the game would load a model at the same time as it was being thrown out of memory. This has been fixed. Sometimes the game would crash after removing old bullet holes, scratches, marks in the world. This has been fixed. Sometimes when a player or enemy was sitting in the Jeep Gunner entry and got killed, his body would rest on the vehicle in such a way that the physics and the simulation would require lots of CPU usage. This has been solved. Fixed a crash occurring on Flood Zone when playing Conquest Large. Fixed a common crash relating to surface shaders. Fixed a crash on test range that would occur when using sniper rifles. Fixed a common crash that occurred during map transition. Fixed a crash that occurred while bringing up battle screen in-game on the test range. Fixed a memory allocation bug that could lead to crashing. Fixed a single player crash that could sometimes occur when being killed by AI enemies. Fixed an issue where the game would get stuck in infinite loading if you disconnected while trying to access online content. Fixed an issue in single player in the South, si South China Sea wow, mouthful, mission where the game would crash when idle for more than 60 minutes. Fixed an issue where the game would get stuck in infinite loading if you use Windows L to lock your PC during loading. Network performance. Eliminated a network sync bug. If you have been experiencing situations in multiplayer where it appears you are taking dam damage for enemies through walls, you might have been a victim of a network sync bug. In this game update, we have identified and eliminated one such bug that caused this type of gameplay experience. We are continuing to work on more multiplayer optimizations concerning network performance. Improved network smoothing. We have made some improvements to the network smoothing functionality that you can find in the options gameplay menu. The network smoothing slider governs a group of settings that aim to produce a tighter multiplayer experience based on your specific packet loss situation. Remove network lag. In certain specific situations, network lag will be introduced when interacting with objects in the game. This has been experienced by players during melee combat when climbing ladders when operating stationary weapons. The cause for the specific network lag situations has been solved. Now, some gameplay balancing. Removed the scout helicopter at the final base for defenders on rush mode for Siege of Shanghai. Adjusted the conquest flag position on Zavad 311 that was obstructing vehicles. At Henan Resort, in rush mode, defenders were given too much armor at the first base. We have removed the defender IFV at the first base, added an attacker IFV at the first base, and increased the spawn delay for the defender IFV at the third base. Fixed it so that there is one revive per round on defuse, as opposed to one per set. Removed all previously placed C4 mines around after a round of defuse to eliminate the possibility to affect the next round. Graphics. Fixed a minor graphical error on the operation locker. Fixed an issue where in-game battle log would get distorted when a commander launches an EMP attack. Fixed a floating container on Goldwood Railway near Flag C on Domination. Fixed an issue with the minimap in rush mode. Fixed an issue with obliteration mode where the red light flash and beep sound were not played when the bomb carrier was moving. 
fixed an issue in defuse where the bomb models at bomb model sometimes did not display on the bomb carrier fixed minor graphical alignment issues in spectator mode camera layout fixed an issue in spectator mode where the spectator's view incorrectly would get distorted during an EMP deployment from a commander and now miscellaneous Fixed a bug where it occasionally killed all sounds on the server if you fired the G the QBU-88 with an attached silencer. Now that's a seriously good silencer. Fixed an issue where pressing B would bring up the console. Fixed an issue where the EMP effect lasted for too long on soldiers. Fixed an issue where an area you couldn't traverse near one of the MCOMs in rush mode on Siege of Shanghai. Fixed an issue relating to player skill levels. Fixed an issue in obliteration mode where the bomb would be temporarily placed in the sky after the bomb carrier was killed when swimming or in a water-based vehicle. Fixed an occasional jitter in the kill camera. Fixed so that Russian special characters are displayed properly in the chat window. Fixed so that the system performance test is working as, as expected. Fixed a bug where the rank up message would loop in game. Moved a machine gun position on Lankang Dam that was placed on top of a building that can collapse. Added sound when navigating the scoreboard at the end of round screen. Fixed a broken ladder, ladder on Siege of Shanghai. Adjusted vehicle spawn locations on Dawnbreaker in Conquest to alleviate traffic jam. Fixed a flickering issue on Siege of Shanghai when using NVIDIA drivers 331.52. Fixed a bug on Goldmud Railway where a destroyed house at Flag A would block gunfire. Fixed a ticket count issue in rush mode. Commanders can no longer erroneously try to get match made into a game of domination. If the user restarts checkpoint during the end scene he will receive an old objective along with the credits. Fixed a distraction issue on Flood Zone. Fixed an RHIB Boat issue in one of the single player missions. Fixed an issue where players would respawn after getting killed and have no main weapon available. Fixed so you won't see the emblem of a user that you have blocked. Fixed an issue where you couldn't smash through railings with a quad bike on Dawnbreaker. Added clickable buttons to the in game battle log. Fixed a bug in single player where if the player is killed if he climbs after Irish too fast up the ladder in one of the missions. And various, various other minor issues. So, that has been the update and you can see also that they're rolling out release 10 for the server update. So that will be going obviously live around the November the 14th, so a couple of days ago. So that's essentially what you're seeing with respect to things. And let's just see, we're seeing a lot of uh, server crashes at the moment. These are being sold by rolling out the new server patch, update R10. And you can see if you're seeing error message relating to the China Rising expansion pack when trying to join multiplayer, please try another server. This error will only appear if the server has not yet updated from server version R9 to R10. So that has been patch notes for today. Thank you for watching.